Okay, I can't be the only one who wants more books to decorate with in House Slipper. We actually have a lot of books to choose from in the catalog, but a lot of the colors are quite dark or have graphics on them. And for this space, I'm looking for something a bit more neutral and tonal. So today I'm making some more 3D assets for House Slipper. These stacks of books have a light texture and a neutral color palette that can work for various styles and blend in with different designs. And they all go together as a set so you can fill up your bookshelves with them. In this video, I'll share with you how I 3D modeled and textured these stacks of books in Blender, and then used Unity to upload them to the Steam Workshop for use in game. Hopefully after watching this video, you'll be inspired to make your own game assets. Or you can just hang out with me while I design a dreamy bookshelf for my office. And the link to download this custom content for your game will be in the video description. So I started this project by opening up Blender and modeling a single book. And my approach is going to be to model one book, get it pretty good, and then duplicate that book to create various stacks of books in different configurations that can go together as a set. So I'm going to do most of the work to a single book to make sure that when I duplicate it, all of the work comes along with it. And I only have to do the work one time. So I'm going to model the overall shape of the book and try to get it looking pretty nice without overdoing it on the amount of geometry that I'm using to create this book. So I'm going to add a little bit of a bevel to the edges to make them look a little bit more smooth, less sharp, and it helps them to look a little bit more realistic since there aren't any perfectly pointy edges in real life. And then I'm going to adjust the spine of the book so that it's a bit more rounded because it was looking a little flat. Other than that, I'm going to keep it pretty low poly. And then when I'm done modeling the book, I'm just going to go through and clean up any of the extra geometry that was created during the modeling process. Anything that you can't really see that's not actually contributing to the visual shape of the model, I'm just going to merge all of that together so that I'm only keeping the geometry that actually creates the shape of the book that we want. And then my final step before duplicating this book is to take a little bit of time to mark the seams so that when I UV unwrap the book later, which is important for texturing the book and usually done after everything's modeled, all of my UVs will unwrap nicely and be able to be positioned pretty easily the way that I want them to. And I only have to do this one time now instead of having to do it a bunch of times later on every book that's duplicated from this one. And then I'm going to move on to actually duplicating the book. So my goal is to use different sized books. To me, books that are all the same size look more like encyclopedias or a box set of books. And I wanted these stacks of books to be mismatched for more of a collected look like you would have if you sourced various books over time. I did look up real life dimensions for common book sizes. So I'm just going to duplicate this book four times and then size it down to the real world dimensions. I decided for this project, I'm going to make four stacks of books. I'll make two horizontal and two vertical stacks. And I'm going to try to have one of each where all of the spines are facing the same direction so that it looks pretty neat if that's your preference. And then I'm going to create the other stacks with the spines facing in all different directions. And this is pretty intentional. Firstly, if somebody has a preference for a little bit more of a messy lived in look, they can have that. But also because when the spines are facing different directions, you can use both sides of the asset to make it look like a completely different stack of books. And that's pretty important to me to have some visual variation when placing a bunch of assets together in one area of the game. I feel like when these books spines are going in different directions, you can use one stack of books in multiple rotations, which means you can use it multiple times on a bookshelf without it looking like the same asset repeated over and over. I did limit the scope to making four different sizes for this project, but I can definitely make more variations and sizes of these books later. I can also just export single books if you prefer to make your own stacks of books in the game. So if that's something that you'd like to see, feel free to leave a comment and let me know. And I can spend some time exporting those as well. So at this point, I've got four different book stacks, two horizontal and two vertical with some messy versions and neat versions. And now I'm ready to add textures. So for these books, I wanted to keep it kind of minimal. I think in the future, I can definitely make variations of like 
dirtier books or more detailed books and that's actually my plan but for right now I just wanted them to be lightly textured so I grabbed a cloth texture and applied it to the books so they had like a fabric texture on the outside and then I was ready to adjust the color of the textures so I actually made a color palette and I am maybe a little bit weird where I really like naming my color palettes and so the color palette for these books is called mushroom brown because I'm using these brown and beigey tones and it just reminded me a little bit of mushroom brown and I'm hoping that this looks like it can go with a warm color palette or a cool color palette depending on whatever your preference is in in the style of your houses in game I definitely lean towards cool tones but I'm hoping this can like blend in with either color palette but you'll have to let me know maybe I need to make another version and then I applied the colors to the books, just kind of keeping it where all of the colors show up at least one time, but all of the books have like a different configuration of colors as well. And then for the actual paper of the books, I didn't leave them white. I actually just painted a texture for this and then applied it to all of the text block paper part of the books. Okay, so at this point, each of my stacks have individual books in them that all have different materials which include like a texture and a color and all of that data so i could technically just pull them into unity as they are but i would be having multiple different texture maps for each of these books and it just wouldn't be very optimized so what i ended up deciding on was to use the approach of baking my textures and what this does is you're basically saying like okay i'm happy with how this looks in blender and I'm basically going to stamp all of these textures down onto one texture so instead of the game having to load six different textures for one stack of books it only has to load one texture and that's a lot more optimized using a texture bake also makes it a little bit easier for me to be able to change the color of these books in the future so all i have to do is edit the actual texture itself change the colors of them and then apply the new texture with the colors changed to the model and one of the steps is to make sure that you uv unwrap your books and that you position all of the uvs wherever you want the textures to basically bake to or stamp down onto this two-dimensional texture. So when I was placing my UVs, I wanted to make sure nothing was touching so I could more easily change the colors of the textures later. But I also wanted to make sure that everything was upright. So if I wanted to add text or like embellishments or designs to the books later on the covers, I could easily do that without having things being upside down. And then I checked all of my settings and started baking my textures. So for each of these four stacks of books, I baked two textures. One is a color map or it's called like a diffuse map. And the other one is the normal map, which is like the detail that you see on the cloth texture that's covering the book. So once I was happy with my texture bake, I assigned the baked textures to the model and the UV map location on the texture tells where the texture should appear on the model. So now we have four stacks of books, each with their own singular color map and their own normal map. So now I'm ready to export my books and put them in the house flipper game. I opened up House Slippers Workshop Exporter tool in Unity. I pulled in the models as well as their color and normal maps. And then I created a material in Unity and plugged in the color and normal maps and applied those materials to the books. And then I added a box collider, which House Slipper requires. I also rendered my own custom thumbnails. These books can be placed on top of objects and objects can also be placed on top of them in case you wanted to stack some books up. And I set the item category so that the books show up under the accessories hobby menu in the catalog, set a name and a price, and then exported it to the Steam Workshop. So now the models show up in the Steam Workshop, and then I subscribed to them and then tried them out in the game. Okay, so this is the house after the flood, and this is the office with the bookshelf that I'd like to decorate. As you can see, the overall design of the room has a lot of light colors, white wood, and brass metal details. You might also notice in this room that I placed a couple of popular custom assets from the Steam Workshop from other creators. And here's a bookshelf that I think could really use some light neutral toned books to blend in with the color palette of the rest of the room. So let's open up the catalog and grab the four new stacks of books that we just created and see how they work. I think the texture shows up okay in game. And I think that the color of these books can suit quite a lot of styles. I think that they could work well for a country cottage or a more traditional style home or even a contemporary home that could use some classic pieces. I don't know about you guys, but I watch a lot of interior decorating shows, especially on YouTube. 
And it seems like books are one of the most quintessential decor pieces that can totally make a space look that much more special, especially if the book really leans into the color palette that you're working with. I also think that these books can work pretty well with some of the other books that have been uploaded to the Steam Workshop by other creators. I think that there are a few books that have an old world kind of style. I know many of them are single books and I think that these can blend in with some of those. Okay, so I have decorated this bookshelf with our new stacks of neutral books and I think that this looks a lot better with the vibe of the room. So now when you walk in and take a look around the room, your eyes don't get caught as much on any dark contrasting colors on the bookshelf. Instead, the bookshelf just looks full of items that suit the style of this room. You can find these and any other assets that I've made on my Steam Workshop for use in your own game and I will leave a link in the video description. If there are any items you'd like for me to create in House Slipper, feel free to leave a request in the comments. You can also check out the official House Slipper Discord and leave some requests in the Workshop Ideas channel. Stay tuned for more videos of other assets that I create for House Slipper and other games. You can also check out last week's video where I modeled this retro phone for House Slipper and subscribe to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.